we're like five or six songs in and the piano player is like, what the fuck is this? And she pulls a razor blade out that was stuck between two keys. <laughs> It's like, who knows why there was a razor blade in the piano, but I'm sure it involved an act that I don't want to know anything about. And so, so yeah, there was, it wasn't definitely an F sharp. So uh, people who converse with me on a day-to-day -day basis know that I'm a large uh, fan of history, in particular biography, autobiography, tall tales. I've been reading a book uh, an autobiography by Sidney Bechet, one of the earliest New Orleans jazz musicians. And it's absolutely fantastic, but this is a, a composition by him that I hope you all enjoy. And if you do, go check him out because he was an extraordinarily interesting character. He, uh, I was always under the impression, impression that he went to France and just lived there because it was, you know, the 1910s, 1920s, and America wasn't exactly a happy land for a colored man. So he went off to France with Josephine Baker, and I thought he just lived there forever. But it turns out he was actually deported because someone accused him of playing a wrong chord, so they did the logical thing and had a duel in the street. He said, Sid Machine does not play a wrong chord. Get outside, let's shoot bullets at each other. And apparently some bystander got shot and he got deported. And this happened like three or four times. <laughs> I'm thinking maybe he's playing the wrong chord, but I just hope that I don't while we play his composition. This is a, a beautiful song called Petite Fleur, featuring our good friend from Chicago, Mr. Spring. <laughs>
Mr. Strang. A new father, by the way. Congratulations, Mr. Strang, on your new journey into fatherhood.